All right, so I'm here, and my DTAC goes off here. And here I'm going to be doing repair. So, let's spray it up and see where exactly. I wasn't really going to do a video, but one of my coworkers said I should show what we go through in the rain. As you can see, it bubbling up right there. So there's the leak that I'm going to have to fix. This one's not, but right there I have to. Alright, so I'm going to have to pump it down and get it ready. Alright, so I found a leak inside. We're going to have to pump this thing down. Do the repair. I'm gonna have to change the dryer. Inside the dryer. Fix the leak inside. This is a half turn valve, right? Yeah. So first thing first, let's turn it on. This is the correct size. The pressure on the system is pretty low, so doesn't help, it's like 50 degrees outside, but 45 is no good, and I found the leak inside, so it's gotta be fixed. You can see it's still going down. I'm just gonna pump it down anyway. I don't wanna waste much, boom, there we go. That's the actual pressure. Let's get this thing down. Boom, off on low pressure. Get it ready. It should click on. Pull most of the gas back out. Maybe not, we gotta hit 40. Come on, come on. By the time I open the door, it'll come on. I guess not. <laughs> you suck. You suck. I just don't know why. Why has it got to be stubborn? You should just want to pump down. Get the gas out so I can fix you. You're a stubborn little one, huh? Here we go, found the bit. I have to just push the contact. In. Very controversial there, pushing that contactor. If you do HVAC, it's okay. If you don't do HVAC, you'll freak out. Oh. <laughs> Dang, bang, missed it. <laughs> I missed it. We're almost there. Almost, almost is no good though. Here we go. Okay. Boom, closed. All right, so we got almost everything out. This way until I need it again. Don't want to get rained on. Still have some gas trapped in there. This is gonna have to be fast. Because it's 
it's raining I don't want to let too much moisture in or else it's just gonna slow down my evacuation time and the problem is I don't have any copper on my truck but I'm gonna try to cut as close as I can over here I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna pre-clean this. Since this is gonna be hopefully I can get the dryer in good here. Part of me is like, don't even bother, just embrace it. Ah, the piece of wood just busted. Oh, that was nasty. I got pieces of old wood all over me. <laughs> Let's see, I don't know. I don't have any meat on this. And I don't have any three copper in my truck. I don't know why. It's one thing I gotta talk to my employer about. I don't see why I don't have three copper. On my truck. It's very useful. Friggin' pipe size. So trying to make everything work. Nice and shiny. I'll touch it up once I cut it. Cutters underneath me. I should cut these. Give me a little play. When you're doing that, always watch out for your low voltage wire. useless yeah I feel like I'm gonna have problems with solder let's see what happens yeah. and through the minimus release them separated that's just what trap off into the new filter dryer. We're off, I think I have enough. So I cut it as close as I could. Oh, my sand cloth. Touch it up. on the pipe not in the fitting so this way what happens is when you push your fitting on it's gonna push that out of the way that be fast with this so you can go right on nice and clean 
blow any dust out. I also like clean the hub and the very outside. Really doesn't make a difference. I know it does the same thing. But to me, I feel it does. Everybody's got their own little thing they do. Makes them happy. Okay, dryer always points away from the unit. Good. Okay, so let's open the tank. All right. Right about there. Okay, I don't remember which tip I have. Hopefully this isn't the one that does the fat flame. What? Where? I came out of here. Okay. Gotta glue that back in. Oh, that's got a good flame. So I heat the pipe first, so you get the inside of the hub hot. Now the hub. So the heat will pull the solder around. for a little bit now what I like to do is just give it a little more heat so this way if it didn't hit everything it'll just kind of seal around Here, wipe it. That's why even this, like that black spot, that's just a little probably spot. Let's just make sure though. Mm. Before I take the torch off the roof, I want to make sure that that. Not a hole. Which it's not. I can tell already. It's a little bit of junk right there. See, gone. Perfect looking. Always want to make sure you have no holes because once you take the torch off the roof, you're not going to want to bring it back up. Okay, so I'm going to move everything downstairs to where the leak is, so I can seal that up real fast. So, eliminate that. I can get a little play. I need play on both 
sides. So let me get it. Alright, so first thing first, let's clean it up.
Find out with the air. All right, back up to the roof. The rope gets stuck. All that. Got a little umbrella, sorta of over my vacuum pump. System's tight. No leaks, no leaks. Which I'm sure I got no leaks, but never take it for granted. Always check. The time you take it for granted, you got a friggin' leak. I didn't let too much humidity into the system. I'm gonna have to see if I can fix my Apions real fast. My core tools because they both leak now. So they're completely useless. Open. Let's feed through the direction I'm supposed to go. Check inside, and I gotta turn my pump on. All right, so I'm gonna stop it right. Still a little bit of pressure, almost all out. I don't want to let moisture in since I just purged it with some nice dry air, clean dry air. I pushed through. So, I don't have my micron gauge up, but it passed the leak test, a bubble test, at least this one. I had to put JB, a JB washer in it, 
because Apion sent me two of the big ho big gaskets, but they didn't send me the gasket that goes in this section. So I'm gonna have to contact them, see about getting one of those. But for now, let's get this going, and I'll hop down, get my micron gauge. This is just the hoses. You can hear the sound of my pump going pretty deep. What I'm afraid of is that ballast. Last time I played with this thing, that ballast was hitting me with like 50 volts. So I gotta either fix it or something. Okay, so here we go. Not enough nitros in there. Open my ballast a little. I was given this by my employer to replace the broken one on my truck and I've never really used it. I'm going to compare it to the field piece one that I do like a lot. I'm not sure where this vacuum is pulled at at this moment. But what I'm going to have to do is make something or find something they sell so I can connect it. I think Yellow Jacket has a vacuum stem so this way I can connect that right on because so far I don't have anything yet. Hopefully this is a vacuum rated hose. Apion gave me this with their little promotion. So in order for me to make this work I need this JB90 because it doesn't have a core pin depressor on this. So. in so now boom connect this over here but without breaking the vacuum which one of these caps is better and I remember one of them the gasket was completely beat up they both are so Put this on here first. Put this over here. Okay, that's on. Now we can connect this. I just disrupted it a little because I introduced fresh air from the setup. See what this thing is saying. It's calibrating. I've never really used this, so I don't know how this is. Okay, so it's saying I'm about right there. Now what we're gonna do is the one that I have used. I don't know if I contaminated it the last time I used it. I think I might have bumped it with a little pressure. But we will find out. And boom, this is gonna make it, it go up also again. This is saying 19. This one's a lot lower. This is saying I got about a thousand. This is saying 19. See, that's saying I got, I'm down to a thousand. So that's a smaller pipe. This is the larger pipe.
this hose here brand new so maybe off gassing also this might make it take a little longer well that's right on the system this has to go through the hose That's down about 850. I trust that more than this one. But that is the JB gasket on that one in the back. So This is also on the smaller pipe, this is on the larger pipe. So it'll go a little slower. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to close this side off. Oop, can't. <laughs> Three legs. Now that side's closed. So that's rising. This one's still sinking, so I'm pulling on this side. Almost seems like it's not even pulling this. Strange. You would think that this would still pull, even with that side close just a smaller pipe I close I'm dropping right now 740 I kind of trust this one more this one, I don't know if this hose is leaking, if it's off gassing, if, it, if that's what's keeping this from pulling down. pump died I'm almost at a thousand I'm rising up a little not much I could do I wish I wasn't but I didn't isolate the system <sighs> what happened alright so what I'm gonna do we're at 310 309 I'm gonna run on my truck to grab the tools I need my refrigerant gauges this way I can start charging it up. So we'll 
see where the rise stops when I get back up here. Okay, so 590. I'm gonna just pretty much say it's done. Remember, I don't know if this is making the perfect seal right here. So I do not have the Apion gasket in. So, but it held the pressure test. And it's even dropping. 18, that well, 19. So. That's a big drop down. System stabilizing. So you know what? I'm okay with this vacuum. Not the deepest or lowest one I pulled, but I mean this would pass most manufacturers vacuum tests. I mean, it's been isolated for several minutes. Only 600. If I had a leak it would have gone up quicker. gassing it see 600 it's still it'd probably stop I don't think it'd go much over 650 not the deepest vacuum I ever pulled but remember I also pulled it in the rain They're just about stable. Alright, so let me set up the quick gas in this. pressure I guess let's feed for a few minutes my swivel team might not be compressing all the way look at how cold my suction lines getting that's all liquid going in so Stop that liquid from going in for a sec. Let's see what we got. Move the umbrella. I hate slugging a compressor. It's actually showing some subcooling.
cooling on this machine I gotta check. I'm not sure where it's supposed to be at. Yeah. Oh not good. I got it wet. I got it really, really wet. So I'm gonna write that in the door what it should be. So sub cooling on this machine. I'm on a what's the tonnage? Five ton, five ton machine. It's the last column. Right now we're 65 and under, about eight. I need eight degrees of sub cool. So nowhere near eight. So let's add more. At least we have sub cooling, which is better than not having anything stop it's very cold this compressor doesn't need that kind of liquid just going through let's see if i flip it let's see what our suction line 43 liquid line 49 outdoors saying 54 feels colder 65 74 suction still pretty low we're gonna expect about maybe like 85 to 90 today on the suction pressure. We're still not even rising when we're adding, which means we got a way to go. We're going down, and I'm putting gas in, liquid in, so I mean that should be rising up. There we go, you see it rising? That's what it's supposed to be doing. Let's see where it stops. I'm going to turn it off and see what we're doing. What's going on with the system now? Superheat's coming back up. Liquid line is really cold, so outdoor 50. Boom. Could be even colder, but. 81 we still don't, don't have two degrees of sub cool yet and we have to go to about eight so there we go we're starting to go up go 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 TXV right now is probably slammed all the way open trying to feed through to make that coil cold, which also makes it harder to have sub cooling. Stop that and see what takes place within the unit. Because right now it's trying to regulate this, the temperature of the suction line. When it closes, sub cooling should go up. See now it's closing up, 52, 53. Doesn't need to be open as much. Oh, look, our liquid line and suction line are the same. But we do have a load inside, 73, 61. Coil inside should be getting colder and colder now. suction line is warmer than the liquid line check that out that is friggin sick and it's not even a heat pump but we're not we're nowhere near ready yet no we're on the charge which is why we have these pressures Oh, stand up for a second. My knees are getting really sore. Oh. It's not even like much refrigerant is going to come out of the can. 145 because of how cold it is. I should probably get my heater. My refrigerant tank heater. Put it in my truck. I had no idea though that I'd be fixing a leak right now.
Bill speaking. I'm back for my phone call. So let's get more in, get more in. Let's check the tank. Make sure it's open all the way. fun in the rain it seems like I'm always working in the rain there we go I'm starting to see some action in the sub cool it looks like it just takes a little bit once it gets to kick in the ass it starts to move I mean it doesn't help that the pressure is so low going into it Go, 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 flick. <laughs> flick. No, not down up. Like we lines up to 60 at least. It's gonna tell me I got a low charge. Yeah, whatever. No shit. Sherlock. It goes on its own. Oh. Oh. A life as a service tech working in the rain. Tommy said I should make this video, so here I am getting drenched making the video. I was just going to work and be miserable without this. At least I can keep myself entertained. Without adding gas right now, it's warming my can up a little bit, hopefully. I mean, 25 superheat's not that bad. Ah, let's put some more in. Once I get to four is where I start to get cautious with the sub-cooling. Especially if I need eight. Or nine. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. getting more pressure when I leave it off for a few minutes on top. Look at that, I did it, it went 2.2. Woohoo, it moved. Ah, oh, it went down, it got my hopes up. Okay, I'm gonna drop my pump off, let it run for a few minutes and see if hopefully it's, how it's responding. All right, so I put a few things away, I came back. We're now at three degrees of sub cool, we're getting there. Liquid line is 60, suction 51. We're not fully charged yet, but that looks a lot closer to where I want to end up than it did. So let's see, once it starts rising, I'm going to stop again. Here we go, 3-4, 3-3, 3-4, 3-5. Instant drop down. It's gonna go back up. Three, two, three, so let's put a little more in. Sub cool needs to rise, not sink. And I have to go to eight degrees anyway, so three, three. 
Okay, now we're gonna start racing. T36, 36, we could do it, 36. 37, 39, boom, let's stop it. Let's see where we go. So for a cold day, this is doing pretty good. I'm gonna have to give it another shot, most likely to get to eight, but starting to sink. Okay, here we go. It looks like it's gonna start to rise. degree splits almost there 19 four degrees of sub cool I haven't had anything yet it's gonna start to rise we got a warning sign low load on evaporator boom can't get rid of that system maybe on the charge I know I don't care clear okay whatever get away go away go away 3.8 oh, one thing system Bing. Okay, hopefully that'll help with those faults. Sub cool is going down, so let's get it to start rising. Once we start rising, I have a feeling we'll get to eight with no problem now. There we go, there we go. I see it, it's gonna jump. I see it, it's gonna jump. C5. When we get to five, I'll stop. Come on, five. Come on, five. Five. Five is my lucky number. I win. I win. I got five. I got five. Now, as far as I'm concerned, wherever it stops, I'm just going to leave it. Because it's cold. Where's our superheat gonna stop? Nineteen five four sub cool. Nikku line's about sixty right now. Suction's fifty. Sub cool's starting to go up. Without me having to add anything now. Nope. I gotta be careful at this point. So I gotta let it, it's saying it's stabilized, but I feel like if I let it run for a minute or two, it's gonna rise. Okay, all the caps are on. Yeah, all the caps are on, so. Six, 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 six. Come on, let's see six. I said five, I was gonna stop. Six, okay. We now have six. We've achieved six degrees of sub cool. At this point, I am done. No reason to put nothing else in. I want to get out of here, so this is it. Now, let me disconnect my cam. Actually, I should let it suck in whatever's in the hose. Then disconnect my cam. the whole 
was fast. But it was in the hose made it go to 6.6. Six. Okay, good. Can's empty. Guys, well, I'm taking off. Till next time, I'm out.